Prime Minister Dean Barrow is now serving his third term as the country's leader. Today in Belmapan, all 31 newly elected representatives were on hand for the inaugural sitting of the House of Representatives. We have more in this report. Hundreds of Belizeans made their way to Balmopan for the ceremonial sitting of the House of Representatives. Under overcast skies, supporters showed up to see their newly elected representatives take their oath of office. Prior to the official start of the sitting, which took place at the steps of the National Assembly, guests were entertained by the music of the Garifuna Collective Band. Prime Minister Dean Barrow inspected the Guard of Honor mounted by members of the Belize Defense Force. The Speaker of the House, Michael Parafit, was once again sworn in. The Clerk of the National Assembly, Ed Webster, then administered the oath of office to all 31 representatives as they swore to carry out their duty without fear or favor. As per usual, Governor General Sir Colville Young read the government speech, which highlighted some of the government's accomplishments over the last term and highlighted the focus of the term 2015 to 2020. Much has been achieved during the last two terms of office. My government will continue to focus on policies designed to advance economic growth, social development, infrastructural expansion, strengthen national security, expand educational opportunities, and improve health care, support citizen security, and foster agricultural development. Prime Minister Dean Barrow then made a statement in which he urged all elected members to work together for the development of the country. As critical as all elections are, and this election was, what happens after the election matters just as much as what happens at the election. The party banners are being lowered and the poster colors of red and blue and green will soon fade. And as we put away the paraphernalia of one P, it is time to embrace that other P, the P we should value most, the P that stands for the people. On Wednesday, 4th November, there was a vote for action. All of us, red and blue, were elected to look after the interests of our constituents, not our own. And as we focus on the future, these are the questions we must ask ourselves. Into what conditions are our children being born? How are they to be nurtured in their early years? Will they have access to the best schools and the best teachers? What jobs and pay will their parents receive? Are their communities getting safer and more productive? Will their grandparents retire with dignity and respect? And will these children inherit a nation of patriots ready to sacrifice all in the defense of national sovereignty? For this new National Assembly, there can only be one way to answer. We must ensure and we must guarantee the progress and the commitment and the advances and the improvements that the circumstances of our people and the needs of our beloved Belize press so urgently upon us. Reporting for Love News, I'm Avadia Sosa. The Senate also held its inaugural session where senators were sworn in. Lee Mark Chang is the president of the Senate, while attorneys Lisa Schumann and Anthony Sylvester Jr., along with Jason Patrick Andrews, will represent the opposition. Mark Lizarraga returns as a senator for the business community. Godwin Halls remains as a leader of government business in the Senate. The other government senators are Dr. Carla Barnett, attorneys Aldo Salazar and Francine Burns, banker Steve Duncan, and educator Makari Okoye. Baptist pastor Ashley Rock is now the senator for the churches. It has not been decided who the representatives for the unions will be.